So here goes my list for top five wide leg salvage denim jeans. The first pair of jeans that we're gonna look at is the Dawson Wide Leg Lot 1 Rinse. And the reason why I'm specifically picking the rinse is because that factory rinse or the one wash denim treatment is going to prevent the jean from actually shrinking because as most of us know, a truly raw pair of jeans is going to shrink three to five percent after wash. This rinse is going to ensure that the wide leg that you're looking for is going to stay wide leg and it's still gonna fade just as if it was raw. These jeans have a very full seat, a very full thigh, a very wide leg opening. The construction looks absolutely beautiful. And one of my favorite details about these jeans is actually the back cinch. That's something that you rarely ever see with ready to wear jeans. And I really love that they took this design nuance and kind of branded themselves with this workwear kind of feel. And they also use no bleach and no acid in any of their washing techniques for this jean. Next up, we're looking at the Full Count Wide Leg 0105, and I haven't yet been able to get my hands on the Full Count jean yet, and that is something that I hope to do in the future. And we'll go through a review video once we get those, but I love the way that this looks on the model. And Full Count just exudes Japanese artisanal craftsmanship, which is no surprise since they're actually one of the Osaka 5. And the denim just has a rich dark blue color that I think is going to fade down to something so, so beautiful and is gonna fit just as well. What I love most about these jeans is the pink selvage ID. And if you've seen my videos before, then you know exactly how I feel about pink selvage ID. And that to me was just one of the biggest selling points of these jeans besides the wide leg fit and the clean construction. Coupled with that Japanese tradition that encompasses the whole theme of this jean altogether. These jeans also use a 100% Zimbabwe cotton and also a 100% cotton thread construction to ensure that the jean is going to shrink all together in one piece. The third jean that we're going to be talking about today is the Nudie's Tough Tony Selvage. Now you guys hear me talk about Nudie a lot on this channel and the reason is because I really do believe in Nudie and their ethos, what they stand for and also the way that they take care of their customers is just different. Every jean that you purchase from them is guaranteed for free repairs no matter where you got it from, whether or not they're second hand, no matter how old they are. They guarantee these free repairs for the entire lifespan of your jean, which to me, there's a lot of value in that. And while they are very wide leg, they also give a really clean appearance. And Nudie just does a spectacular job at construction, and they do an amazing job at branding themselves. I also love the exposed selvage ID on the coin pocket, and I also really appreciate their sustainability reports and the transparency that they have on their website with each and every product that you're purchasing. And this is exactly why Nudie will always have a place on my lists, as long as they keep doing what they're doing. The fourth jean that we're going to be talking about today is the Naked and Famous Strong Guys. Now the thing with the Strong Guys is that they're very, very hard to find a size chart on, depending on which jean that you're looking for. But judging from the reviews on Reddit, as well as the pictures of the model wearing the jeans, these jeans look perfectly good to me. They have a very true wide leg, a very full seat, and a super full thigh that reminds me almost something out of the Dries Van Noten collection while still feeling very authentically naked and famous. Now what I really love about the Naked and Famous Strong Guys is that they come in a couple of different fabrics and a lot of them are so creative but overall it's just a nice wide pair of jeans with no bullshit, straight up artisanal craftsmanship and an overall just amazing quality cotton that's going to fade so beautifully over time but it's also gonna last you a really, really long time. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of experience myself with these jeans, but I have seen them in real life at the Naked and Famous store. And also a lot of you guys on the Reddit tell me all the time how much you love Naked and Famous Strong Guys. So for those of you who are just getting into this and have no idea about wide leg selvage denim at all, Naked and Famous Strong Guys is highly recommended. So the last one that I'm going to throw at you guys is a little bit of a curveball, but it's something that I feel like just has to be in there because I want to show you guys different things and I don't want to be like every other channel out there. So that's why I'm including these jeans. I don't even know if you could really call them jeans. That's why I'm throwing this pair of denim in this list here. The Orslo Two Tuck Denim Trouser for me is a must cop. And the reason is because I love pleating details. I think these are going to fade crazy. I've always wanted a denim trouser and I don't yet have one. The pleats are actually going to give a lot of room to the thigh and overall is just going to provide really interesting fades that I can't even imagine. And Orslo has been a fan favorite on this channel for a while and I don't know what it is about their dye, but the way that all of their garments fade just have a beautiful kind of almost pastel-y light blue as they fade down 
and I just love that look. It's so unique, and it just gives off such an elegant character that I think is going to be shown through these jeans as well, or denim trousers if you really want to go that far. And not to mention that these also have a very clean wide leg as well that is further complemented by that pleating detail, giving this jean just the perfect look. Thank you guys again for 300 subs. I really appreciate you sticking around on this journey, as well as sticking around through this trial period where we're trying new things, such as styling videos, menswear items outside of denim, just overall new things in general that have to do with menswear. So thank you guys again. I'll see you next week.